My name is Major Pete Norris. I'm the S3 for 234 Armor, the Combined Arms Battalion from the Devil Brigade, 1st Infantry Division. The Combined Arms Battalion is composed of two tank companies, two mechanized infantry companies, a forward support company, and a headquarters company, totaling 822 soldiers. Combined Arms Battalions serve to conduct sustained, combined arms, and close combat land operations in support of the Brigade Combat Team. Battalions such as 234 Armor give commanders flexibility in combat, offering the advantages of both the armor and infantry forces. We are currently conducting Tank and Bradley Gunnery Table 12. Table 12 is a platoon collective training event designed to test a unit leader's ability to combine what they learned during crew gunnery and apply it to a tactical scenario. A combined arms rehearsal serves to bring together the elements of the tactical scenario, while a separate exercise design and support rehearsal provides synchronization for elements such as observer controllers, range support, and logistics. The keys to success for this event are detailed planning, resourcing of all relevant virtual training centers, capable mission command systems, and rehearsals. The PCCs and PCIs at the platoon level are critical for preparation for combat. If the leader does his job properly, he'll know the mission inside and out, like the back of his hand. But then it's his job, my job as the platoon leader, to ensure that everyone from the PCs down to the lowest gunner or the lowest driver knows that plan just as well as I do. The rehearsals support the battalion in that the platoons and companies will be prepared to meet the commander's intent and the end state. 234 Armor is bringing together live, virtual, and constructive elements in what is called the integrated training environment. Company commanders control their company with one platoon conducting live fire on the range and two constructive platoons generated by role players on the radio. Training is enhanced by integrating aviation and indirect fire support. Virtual training is integrated by connecting an adjacent company and a close combat tactical trainer to the battalion command post via FM radio and Blue Forces tracker. Additional virtual training is incorporated through the Medical Simulation Training Center, which provides realistic simulated casualties. You have to take into consideration all aspects of warfare. There's always potential for a casualty. It can come at any time. So we are preparing our medics to be ready at a moment's notice to be able to take care of whatever injuries they could see. You can take an injury at any time based on what's happening on the battlefield. The integrated training environment provides training at multiple echelons, from the platoon conducting live fire, the company commander exercising command and control, and the battalion commander and staff controlling both the tactical and exercise design and support elements of the event. Preparation for an event such as this requires detailed planning in order to create a tactical scenario that the companies can immerse themselves in, as well as orchestrating the many moving pieces that support the exercise. The capabilities at DMPRC, they have great assets available. This is the only area out here that has four lanes that you can cover the requirements for Table 12. Additionally, with camera views and what's called the player unit, you're able to get feedback on what was conducted downrange to assist with the AAR process. The after action review is uh, perhaps the most important part of the exercise in that the unit has the opportunity to look inward and reflect and identify upon uh, what went wrong, what caused that problem, and how to correct that problem for future iterations. Given an environment of shrinking budgets and diverse threats worldwide, the 234 Armor team of teams is expanding its ability to train by taking full advantage of the integrated training environment, which will allow us to win on any battlefield. No mission too difficult, no sacrifice too great, duty first.